in the first part of the video we calculate the acceleration now let's calculate the tensions in the strings okay we calculated the acceleration now we are calculating tension in the strings so let's calculate first tension in the string a this is the string a so since mass of the string a assumed to be zero and this string does not stretch so tension at every point will be same okay so this is t a1 force exerted by string a on block one t a2 force exerted by string a on block two okay so these two forces are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction along the string. So magnitude of these two forces are equal. So if we calculate TA1 or TA2, so we can calculate the tension in the string A. So we can either use block 2 to calculate TA2 or we can use block 1 to calculate TA1. Okay, so I find block 1 is easier. So let me bring this, this direction. Okay, now this is as you know, this is X direction parallel direction this is y direction so in our calculation as i mentioned before we only consider forces in the x direction so we ignore this this and these forces so f net one net force on the block one equal vector sum o f g 1 x so this force plus f k 1 this is f k 1 so this force basically plus t a 1 okay if i rearrange this formula because we are looking for t a 1 we get f net 1 minus f g 1 x minus f k 1 okay so i we know this and this how can we calculate f net 1 so f net 1 net force on the block 1 so we use newton's second law m1 times acceleration m1 is 12 kilogram so this is m1 times acceleration 0 0.76 meter per second square so f net 1 will be 9.1 newtons so direction is same as the acceleration so net force and acceleration always same direction so when i bring this again t a 1 equal f net 1 this is the one so this is positive direction 9.1 newtons minus f g 1 f g 1 this one so negative direction minus 62 point three newtons minus fk1 fk1 again negative direction negative eight newtons so then we calculate ta1 as 79.4 newtons so this is positive basically direction this direction this direction so, as I mentioned before, magnitude of TA1 and magnitude of TA2 equal each other. 
So this is 79.4 newtons T2 opposite direction. Same magnitude. So tension in the string is scalar quantity. So equal 79.4 newton. So tension same at every point in the string. Okay, we calculated tension in string A. Now we are going to calculate tension in string B. This is string B. This is string B. So this is TB2. Force exerted by string B on block 2. TB3. Force exerted by string 3 B on block 3. So these two forces are equal in magnitude but opposite it opposite in direction along the string. So magnitude of these forces gives tension in string B. So tension in string B same in every point because we assume mass of the string B is zero and it doesn't stretch. Okay. So we can either need to calculate TB2 or TB3. So if you want to calculate TB2, we need to use block 2. For TB3, we need to use block 3. So both give same result, but I believe this t block 3 will be easier. So I just move this way. Okay. So net force on block 3 will be vector sum of the forces acting block 3. So there are two forces FG3 and TV3. So FG3 plus TB3. So when we arrange the equation, we get F net 3 minus F G 3. So we know F G 3. How you calculate F net 3? So we use we use Newton's second law. So F3 M3 times acceleration. So mass of block 3 10 kilogram. So acceleration will be 0 0.76 meter per second square. Yes, this is the acceleration. So when we multiply this F net 3 we get 7.6 newtons so direction will be down yeah direction will be this so acceleration and F net always will be same direction okay so if you bring this equation here T B 3 equal F net 3, so this is positive direction, 7.6 newtons because down, then minus FG3, FG3 also positive direction, 98 newtons, so when we calculate, we get TB3 as negative 90.4 newtons so basically 90.4 newtons up yeah this direction okay so magnitude of tb2 equal magnitude of tb3 so magnitude will be 90.4 4 newtons so this is the tension in the in string B
Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a nice day. Bye.